We're going to review this Dirt Devil Pro Power XL Pet Carpet and Hardwood Floor Upright. Of course we have our instructions. We're always going to go through this to make sure that everything that is supposed to be in this model is here. So if there isn't anything, either contact the manufacturer or go back to the store. We have an attachment. Definitely this is what I use as far as cleaning the chairs. I use this on the chairs and clean up all the ladies' hair. It's like a filter. Oh, that's a weird looking attachment. Packaging. And of course, there's one of the extensions. Now that is everything out of the box so let's get into the owner's manual and uh, go through everything make sure it's all set up put it all together what needs to be put together and then we'll do a demo and i'll vacuum this up do some chairs and we'll see how well it does now the first thing you have to do once you unpack it we have to assemble it now the first thing it says to do is insert this the cleaning wand into the top of the back which is right here what we do slide it down in there and as you'll see there's a raised notch here it won't go then it will only go in one way push it in until you hear it click that's secure now when you're vacuuming a house and you want to release the wand you simply push this down that releases it now what we want to do, the cord is not wrapped around anything, so we have to wrap it around the cord straps, hooks, which are located on the left side, these two here. Undo the little wire tie. I will stretch this cord out, and then let's wrap it up real quick. Here we go. And it has a little clip on the back of the plug. You can actually just clip that on the cord and it'll stay right there. I have a couple of accessories. One being the wand extension. That simply slides in on the right side of the vacuum cleaner. Rests there. As the plate here holds it, sets right there. A little vacuum attachment. Take this. This little attachment goes right here. It's got a little tab on each side that locks it in right there. And this just simply cradles right in here. Oops, wrong way, this way. Cradles in right there and locks in. And that's where that stays in secure. All you have to do is pull that out. Now they call this the two-in-one tool. If you want to get in a tight corner, you pull the wand out, attach it, and this can go into the tight corners, small spaces, any counters, or you see the little bris bristles here. This will actually slide up, click in, and now you got a little brush. And I, to me, if you have like a bookcase and books or something, be perfect go around doing the bindings of the book make sure all nice and clean dust free basically push the little button tab on the side here push it down and slide that back okay grab there and you have a tab here it keeps it from going back so far or you can push a tab and it'll come all the way off and then you just use the tool I use stuff like this for cleaning the car to get down in the seats and stuff but don't lose this tip accessory for it put it back on slide it back and you can use that and that simply connects right back here and there you have it now behind the vacuum cleaner on the left side there are a red tab and a gray tab 
The red tab, this is your on and off switch. Click it on, click it off. You can use your foot. And this is what releases the upright. Click, turn it on, push that down, pull it back, and off I go. In the front, this is where we have the height adjustment. Depending on thickness of carpet or wood flooring, adjust it here to the height you need. Once you've completed your vacuuming, to take this canister off, the little button here, push that down, pull forward, and out comes the canister. On the back, you see a little button here. You push that down, release at the bottom, and all that dirt, hair, and junk will fall out. Now to take the top off, you simply grab, I grab the bottom and the top, and simply do a little twist to the left, and it unlocks. You pull that out, and it's off. See, if you line it up straight, it won't go on. Turn it just to the left. See how it clicks down? Then go back to the right, locks in. Set that back in at an angle, slide it in, click it in, and you're ready to go. Now to get to the rinsable filter, again, push the put button down, pull this canister forward, that releases that out of the way, and as you see the yellow here, that is your rinsable filter. Basically, you just pull that out, you rinse that out, and this thing comes with another filter. What did I do with it? There it is. Now, I would keep two. I would put this one in, rinse this one out, set it aside, let it dry well. And then next time, pull this out or pull this one out, rinse it off, and put the dry one in. I would keep two on hand and it would be a good idea to buy a third one that way you have a spare in case something does happen. I personally would make sure I put a dry one in every time. So I'll put that one back in, you simply push it in, set it there, and that's all there is to it. That's just that reusable filter. Now you have an exhaust filter. There's a little tab right here, you push down, pull that forward, there's your exhaust filter. You push the sides, pull it out, and there it is. Now again, I would buy another filter because you can rinse this one out also, but they suggest you wait 24 hours, let it air dry before installing it. I'd rinse it out, put it aside with this one that's rinsed out, and put the two back in there dry. So next time when it comes that you want to clean these out, clean both of them out, Put the dry ones in and put the ones you rinsed out aside and let them dry. I would definitely have an extra of each one of these just for that reason. So we'll put this back in. You simply just slide it in right here. Little tabs on the bottom set down there. Make sure they're in properly. And just find the hole there. There you go. Snap that back in, and you're ready to go. And one other quick little note, just so you know, this is a 12 foot extension cord. So not too bad. Um, I like them a little bit longer, but that'll do. Now the top hook will, will spin, and then you simply pull the cord right off. It makes it very simple and easy. Spin that back up and you can wrap the cord back up. So, got 12 feet of cord, let's plug it in and we're gonna start vacuuming. Can you imagine, if this thing does good here, it's gonna do really good at your house. Simply undo that, Pops right off. Now this is just about 20 or 30. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. That's the hair that this thing picked up. I'm telling you, this is just off the chairs. 
Every week we got to do this, so this is essential for just keeping it clean. I, mean, I don't know about hygiene, but laying on this, other people's hair and stuff, it's just, you got to keep this sanitary. So that is a huge benefit of this. Even though it says pay hair, it gets the lady's hair picked up. So this slides back in, that tab, remember, keep it towards the front, clicks right in. This will set right here, snap in. So now all you gotta do is pull this out. You can see it's kind of dusty, so let's go in the other room. I'm gonna open this up and dump it out and just see how much picked up just in a third of the sanctuary. It's not even two thirds, I still got a vacuum yet. And this is all the hair just off those few chairs. Trash. Now, remember, push this button and that'll release the bottom. Wow, look at all that dirt and hair. All that, that's huge, huge. I am very impressed how much picked up. Wow, 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 and wow, seriously. I had no idea it was gonna be that good. That actually impressed me. So because it went beyond my expectations, that's a five star. When it outperforms what I think it would do, everything's a four star because everything does what it's supposed to do, but if it outperforms, it's a five star. So the Dirt Devil Pro Power XL Pet, that's a five star in my book. As you saw, it picked up the dirt and that ex little uh, accessory here got all that hair off of just about 25 30 chairs can you imagine the rest of these hundred chairs how much I'm hair I'm going to get off of that so that's the review for the dirt devil pro power XL pet vacuum cleaner this will keep your house clean